So we had a really interesting discussion the other day in the NCIX forum. There were some people commenting under a, a, like a dollar mouse pad, basically saying, if you spend any more than this on a mouse pad, you got to have rocks in your head. But the reality of it is, if you want to be like this guy who is a professional world of, no, he's Warcraft 3 player, and he models apparently for Steel Series as well. But if you want to even be, let's say you're not a professional, you want to be more comfortable, you want to be a little bit more competitive about your gaming, you might not, it might not be a bad investment to spend, you know, 50 bucks on a premium mouse pad and 100 bucks on a premium mouse. So we're going to talk about some Steel Series gaming accessories over the next few minutes here. So we've got here two mouse pads that Steel Series sent to us for this demonstration. We've got a cloth Ratchet Wrath of the Lich King mouse pad right here, and then we have a Frostworm edition of their 5C mouse pad, which is actually a hybrid. It's got a rubber inside, a plastic no-slip bottom, and a cloth top. So you get the advantages of all of those surfaces. Now, what are the advantages of an expensive mouse pad? First of all, you get smoother tracking. So that means that when you're moving side to side and up and down, especially quickly, your mouse isn't going to jump around suddenly. Next, you get much smoother movement. So let's compare this freebie mouse pad right here, which you can hear like this, to moving it on a more premium surface like this Wrath of the Lich King mouse pad. You can hear it smoother. You're not going to be wearing out the feet of your expensive mouse, which is another reason to use a premium mouse pad. It's also just more comfortable. You can control how far you're moving and how quickly much better on a better mouse pad. So as you can see on the bottom of the Akari Laser Mouse is my name. And the reason for that is it is a completely driverless mouse. That means you install the utility, you set it up the way you like it, you name your profile, and you can plug this into any computer anywhere. And it will remember exactly your sensitivity and exactly the way you like your macros and programmable buttons, all that good stuff. Now, the next most important thing about a mouse for me is comfort. You can see clearly when we do our close-up demo here, the comfortable resting position for your hand fits very naturally onto something like an Akari laser, whereas the cheapo mouse that came with your computer is not going to be nearly as comfortable of an experience. Last thing, of course, is going to be the tracking. That's what all the mouse manufacturers are pumping up these days. Now, the Akari laser gives you 32 thousand CPI and it also gives you 40,000 samples per second. Now those are just numbers to me. I'm not a professional gamer. However, as a casual and hobbyist gamer, I do notice a difference even from the mouse that I was using before, which is again about a hundred dollar mouse. So you get smoother movement, you get better acceleration out of a premium mouse product. So this is it. This is the coveted WoW MMO gaming mouse from SteelSeries. As you can see, uh, that's all the gold that you will have when you have 15 programmable macro buttons for WoW gaming. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not much of a WoW player. I played for about two months, I got bored, I'm not much of an MMO player. That said, the idea of a 15 button completely programmable macro mouse was still intriguing to me just as a casual gamer because you can map any one of the 15 buttons on this mouse to any command you want, including strings of characters like a macro. Now, it also comes with the handy dandy uh, configuration utility that we'll show you shortly, but some other accessories as well. You get a uh, World of Warcraft trading card game card. We got Voidwalkers Gone Wild, whatever that is. It also comes with a BioWow T shirt, get one of equal value free Jinx Gold coupon. And I'm going to give you the coupon code, so whoever redeems it first, you win. A F T C 9 MP. So there you go, redeem it. Next, you get a World of Warcraft MMO Gaming Mouse Quick Start Guide, which will basically tell you to download the drivers off the site. So, have a look on the screen here. We're going to get out of our Ninja Gamer Guy uh, background, and then, yeah, here we go. So, mouse properties. You can configure your DPI value, your double-click speed, scroll speed, your Windows pointer speed, as well as your X and Y axis independently. Next thing is you've got your color. You can choose any color under the sun. You can choose the intensity and the pulsation speed. Then you've got your button assignments. So game commands, change DPI, change profile, and custom macros, you can create anything you want here. You can hold up to 10 profiles for different characters, which is right here. And then uh, all this middle part is changing what every single button does. Now it's all very WoW centric, but it is completely customizable should you want to do that as well. So one of the uh, pieces of gaming gear that a lot of people don't have for some reason, and it drives me nuts, I'm playing Left 4 Dead on some public server and this guy's like, 
Ooh, why didn't you come rescue me when the hunter attacked me? It's, well, because you didn't have a mic. You didn't say anything. So SteelSeries has a full range of gaming headsets, including their one of, actually, I think this is a really cool piece of technology, their retractable mic. So that means you don't have to have a mic hanging up the side of your headset or in front of your mouth when you're just listening to your music. Now, as you saw in our last Tech Tips, we just had a look at the Monster Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. Now, these are not like that but they also cost far less. These are the 5HV2 we've got today. They run about 100 bucks and change. You get a very decent set of headphones that SteelSeries says is optimized for things like footsteps and gunfire. Uh, I didn't observe that, but what I did find was that they're very comfortable to wear for long term. I've been using them at work to listen to music, and also the mic is very clear for other people when it's transmitted over Left 4 Dead. Um, one thing you'll notice about the 5HV2 is it has a very, very short cord and it comes with one accessory, which is a longer cord. So we will get to why that is in just a minute. So I told you I was going to explain why the 5HV2 has a really short cord attached to its little volume control thingamajiggy. And the reason is that the SteelSeries 7G keyboard is what ties together all the SteelSeries peripherals. So at the back you can see this nice thick braided cable comes out and splits into USB, uh, PS2 with a USB adapter, as well as uh, audio out and mic in on the back of your computer. So that means it acts as the hub for all of your SteelSeries peripherals. Peripherals. You can plug your headset, both microphone and speakers into it, and then you can plug up to two more USB peripherals, usually a mouse and then like a USB key or whatever else, also into the back of the keyboard. Now the 7G is a mechanical key switch keyboard, so that means it is on the expensive side, but it does have a few premium things about it. First of all, if you like the tactile feedback, you're going to love this keyboard. Second of all, the removable shroud. I've actually been using this keyboard for the last week or so at work and it is incredibly comfortable. I even did some gaming but don't tell my boss. And I find the wrist rest, while hideously ugly, is incredibly comfortable when I'm typing or when I'm just using the WASD keys. Last thing I really like about this keyboard is the fact that, yeah, I don't remember where I was going with that, but thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips and our gaming accessories version of Tech Tips.